Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a back to basics video where we're going to explain what these mysterious F keys do on the top of your keyboard. Uh, you've got, you know, every keyboard has the F keys, F1 to F12 on the top row and pretty much everybody just doesn't know what they do and I often get asked that question when I go to clients, um, you know, what do they do? Is there a manual I can read that gives me all the details of what each key on the keyboard does? Um, <clears throat> the F keys are a little particular because the F keys are kind of programmable keys depending on what you do on your computer. So uh, depending where you are, what app or what program you have on, the keys don't act always the same way. Um, an example, um, if we use Internet Explorer, you will see that in an Internet Explorer, when you go into menus, there often is uh, the keyboard shortcuts next to each of the options. For example, here, View, the View tab, you know that F5 will refresh the page. So, for example, if I press an F5 key now, I get a reload of the page, it refresh the page. Um, once again, if you look in the view here, we have F7, carrot browsing, F11 for full screen. So if I take F11, I'll have a full screen page. F11 again, comes back to normal. So that is specific for Internet Explorer. But if you use another software, you'll have other options. It depends on each piece of software that you use. Also, one key that is usually pretty much a universal key for help is F1. Um, in F1, if you press, you know, in pretty much every program, not everywhere, but if you, in most programs, uh, you press F1, you have the help for uh, that program. So here is the help for Internet Explorer and how to use Internet Explorer. Um, you know, if I use the WordPad, for example, uh, the simple word pad in um, Windows 10. Uh, pretty much the same thing here. Uh, you'll have the different F keys doing different options. You have the F1 key for help. Uh, here is the help for Windows 10 um, and so on. So depending on what you do, when you look at the menus, you will see that some of the menus have these options written um, with them, others not. I've noticed that the F keys slowly are being uh, used differently in modern computers, uh, especially with the new apps now. It seems that apps and new programs uh, try not to use the F keys anymore, but your F keys are still useful on a PC because you might have noticed that from you know 15 years ago to today, lots of little pictograms have appeared on these keys. So here, for example, in this Lenovo, you've got little pictograms on each key that tell you what these do. For example, little suns here, plus and minuses for screen brightness. Uh, here you have the uh, back uh, play and forward buttons, play and stop or play pause here. Uh, so depending on what you have as a computer, these pictograms are different. For example, my Toshiba has some of these same pictograms, but placed in different keys. So, for example, on my computer, the little sunshines here are on the F2 and F3 key. And these are for screen brightness. And to use these pictograms, you have to use another key on the bottom left of your keyboard. That's FN. FN stands for function. And this is something that is new or, you know, I've, I've, has been added in the past 10 years, I would say. Uh, maybe a little more to add some new functionalities of all the new computers now. So that FN key just um, next to the Windows key on the bottom left of your keyboard in association with the F keys will give you what these little pictograms do. So for example in my computer I want to have a brightness, screen brightness, I'll use the FN key and I'll use the up or down button of the F2 or F3 in my case because that's where they are on this Lenovo on you see on your screen I would be using FN key and F8 or F9. Um, the best thing that you can do to learn more about your um, computer is to check its own manual. Um, very often manuals of course <laughs> computers don't come with manuals anymore. Uh, 
but if you go to the online um, the online site of your um, computer brand so for example in my case it's a Toshiba <laughs> uh, or if you have an HP or so on go to the website and search for your specific model number and you will see that they often have a full manual in PDF that you can download or you can actually view online if you want usually these will deal with what the keys on your computer will do because they were specifically programmed depending on the brand by the manufacturer so you can check that out so uh, that's pretty much you know the deal with the hef keys uh, the function keys on a keyboard these are always and have always been pretty mysterious but basically uh, function keys are programmable pro programmable keys that will do whatever you want depending on the software you use if you enjoy my videos want to subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when your videos are online if you have any comments questions anything you want to know any problems why not ask and um, thank you for being there and following us with our videos uh, give us thumbs up if you like the videos and thank you for watching this video hope it helps you learn a little more about your PC